So, the new man at uh, number 10, Downing Street, Boris Johnson, uh, some folks have described him as the gadfly of the UK politics. Uh, Boris Johnson has taken office, kicked a few members of uh, Theresa May's, the outgone Prime Minister, out of office and working all to yesterday. And perhaps even the little cat in number 10 down the street is aware that there's a new tenant in the house. Let's talk to uh, Juliana Olayinka, who follows politics, business, Brexit, and the markets in the UK for us. I'm sure with what's been going on in the last few hours, uh, since yesterday, uh, Juliana, I'm sure even the cat in number 10 down the street will know or will realize that, yes, there's a new tenant uh, who is totally different from uh, the immediate past occupant, Theresa May. Good morning. Good morning, Boson. Well, there's certainly uh, two stories, two big stories coming out of the UK at the moment. One of them is the weather. I have to say it is going to be the hottest day on record ever in Britain today. And the other, of course, is Boris Johnson. He's just wrapped up his first cabinet meeting. He'll be speaking and addressing lawmakers at the House of Commons later today. You know, the tabloids can't get enough of him. Overnight, there's been a complete reshuffling of Theresa May's government. And the government today is completely unrecognisable. 17 of Theresa May's top senior officials um, are gone. 11 of them actually were sacked, including Jeremy Hunt. He's contender. He was the former foreign secretary. Boris Johnson tried to give him a, 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 down, a downplay, a, a junior role. He couldn't accept that, and he's left. And, of course, he's now been replaced, as well as many of the others, with a really tough Brexiteer team. It's seen as the kind of no-deal champions. We've got Savage Javid. He is now going to be uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. I'm sure we'll be talking about him in weeks to come. Also, Priti Patel, she's a very hardline Brexiter, and she's been named the Home Secretary. So lots of new people coming in, lots of the old going out. Some people are saying today before recess, before Parliament break uh, for holidays and for the summer, that they will be trying to champion a no deal to try and stop the Brexiteers, to try and stop Boris Johnson's cabinet for taking uh, them down a Brexit deal that they don't want to go down. Yes, so they, there's a heat wave. Then you have the political... Uh, hot weather in Parliament, in number 10 Downing Street everywhere. So the markets here, I'm sure, will be thinking who is the new uh, BOE chief who's likely going to be uh, a new uh, tre uh, a Treasury Secretary and all of that. This is what will be uh, interest uh, the folks on, on Market Street, uh, the city centre, will be interested in, on Market Street. Of course, certainly. Uh Boson, you know, they've been interested in watching with a bated breath for the past couple of years. It's definitely heated up when they realised that Boris Johnson was going to be the front runner to become prime minister. But at the moment, traders are almost awaiting with bated breath. The FTSE 100 opened up at about 11 points higher today. The currency is not doing so well. The sterling is down 0.04% against the dollar. But I think the market are really waiting for Mario Draghi to speak. We're not sure what he's going to say about... Uh, easing that uh, fiscal, uh, but we will be waiting for that. So at the moment, they're certainly keeping a close eye on what Boris Johnson will be doing. But again, we are going into recess. We're waiting for the EU to speak. They've been watching and waiting to see exactly what Boris Johnson will say when he addresses Parliament. But at the moment, the traders are keeping their eyes firmly open. And so are we here in London for you both then. Yes, uh, and, and I do find some time uh, there's a, a, a time to have lunch uh, because it's going to be a very busy day for you, uh, folks. You're keeping one eye on Boris uh, Johnson as he moves from one uh, uh, office to the other, holding meetings. Then you use listen to the other ear to listen to uh, uh, the ECB folks, uh, uh, what the uh, rate decision will be today. You and Chimeze in the afternoon, 1.30, we're going to have a swell time discussing uh, these uh, issues. Thank you so much and the rest of your team out of London. Thank you, Bosan.